Japan has a wild idea to launch a satellite made of wood in 2024. <laughs> Apparently, they've been testing wood as a material for space for a while. They landed on, uh, of all things, magnolia wood, uh, <laughs> which I thought was very interesting. But like, but but there's a lot of like good reasons to do this. Apparently, like because. Wood is, uh, it's very eco-friendly, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. a somewhat renewable resource. And uh, when it eventually does, uh, what, what do they call it, deorbit, which I still right. think is the weirdest word in the world. <laughs> when they do deorbit it, I mean, it definitely, it burns up in the atmosphere. It's not like we're not contributing <laughs> right, to any true. pollution here. So, I mean, it's a pretty fascinating sort of wild idea. I mean, what are your, what are your thoughts? My first thought was it sounded insane. Like, <laughs> could I think of it in terms of like, companies built spending years building this one satellite like you want to do that but then you think of like starlink that's sending up thousands of them like okay yeah. if you're doing it at scale suddenly that makes more sense and right yeah, yeah they sent one to the iss a while ago and it they kind of floated outside the iss for like 10 months and it held up remarkably well and like yeah okay i mean for the reasons you gave like it's worth a shot i guess you know seems kind of I mean, weird I, but i do some woodworking i, I would love to see something i <laughs> make end up in space yeah like i feel like that would be like maybe they mm -hmm. could have like a contest for some amateur woodworkers and be like, all right, who wants to send their stuff into space? And that'd be great. Speaking of a woodworking, hold that thought because uh, that that is going to come back into play during my tech rec, just so you know. Oh, so, sweet. Uh, but moving to the next one here.